Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the storehouse again. You thought we might be done with the storehouse ever? How wrong you... Is it all rocks on these shelves? I hadn't really given it a closer look. It's all stone tablets on these, isn't it? These are very sturdy shelves. I guess a lot of the rocks are also sort of doubling as structural support. And some of these are horns, which is a little more grisly, but... Employed at this place is the most swole librarian you'll have ever seen in your life. Anyway, we're going back down into the flooded area, because there's a spot or two we've not been yet. Also, check it out, Sword of Light, we're using it now. Got it up to plus nine. Pretty much all the weapons that I've bumped up and started experimenting with in the DLC are at plus nine or plus 24. I haven't maxed any of them. We have quite a few of the ancient dragon stones for each type, but uh, not as many as we have weapons. I'm kind of waiting to see as we're getting toward the end what the real favorites are, and then, then we'll go ahead and bump them up to fully maxed out. So we're back here. There's a shiny just right over there that I have to jump for that I don't want to, but I didn't... Whoop, hang on. I forgot. You're back up now. This does pretty good damage, actually. Haven't really used a small sword in a while. Uh, but this one, like, at its current level... Doesn't scale a ton with anything, but it mostly scales with, like, strength and faith, relatively, and, uh... Those are the two things I use. So I'm getting a lot out of it. Considering. But we did just find a grace fire fairly nearby. I don't have tons of runes on me. We can... We can try it. Feels like a extremely bad idea, but we can try it. Haha! Oy. Worth it. At least it's worth it. At least that. Yeah. Okay. I live. Alright. Uh, here was the other side. That I wanted to go exploring. Hello, bat. Careful. What are you doing? Hey! There. Hm. Ladder over there. Okay. First this. But also this. Aha! Here we go. And then... Cool and a cool little, like, kind of callback reference to Dark Souls 1 stuff. Oh, and there's an old... 
It was one of those old, like, squares that had a tree in it and everything. Cool. That's real cool. I love it. Got some more to explore now. And also a very big thing down there. Should probably equip something to fight that thing. That's probably how we'll drop down. Yeah. Um... Something with fire. Probably this. Yeah, yeah. Probably. This compared to... Where are you? There you are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go exploring. And deal with the angry tree spirit thing. Wherever it went. It's down here somewhere. At least when it kills us, we'll respawn here. Might as well. It's just kind of habit. Activating those things. Pardon me, crabs. Carry on. Not the big thing I was expecting, but... Um... Yeah, there's the one. There's the one I actually expected. Crab, do you think? Truce? Crab? Truce? What if this? I do work. All right. Now we can deal with the bigger problem. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're just going to do it with the sword. Ah. Noticed. We've been noticed. Nope. Nope. Fire! You're in water, so it's probably affecting you less, but... So far, so good. Don't like that. Whew. Yay, big shield. Big fire hits. Let's go. Yeesh. Nope. You missed. And thank goodness. Ah. Mantle of thorns. Whoa. That's intense. I feel like that's the cleanest... Angry tree root fight I've ever had. 
Cover itself with the shadow trees and penetrable thorns. Sorcery of those who abandoned the practice of incantations after devout faith rewarded them with only despair. The caster wounds their own flesh using impenetrable thorns grown from the shadow tree, which then cover the body entirely. Once covered, dodge rolls will damage enemies. The image of the misshapen shadow tree is an edict. Spurn all that exists. Wound all that exists, for we have been abandoned. That might be why it's flooded down here. Either because everyone agreed, yep, sucks down here. We don't need this district anymore. Or the people who had decided that started getting all thorny and rolling at everyone. And everyone decided maybe it's best we just flood this place now. It's getting out of hand down there. Have you just been down here soggy the whole time? Who's talking? Is that you? Yeah. Can I go behind me there? Bigger weapon might be smart. Then again, I don't really have one equipped currently, so we're going to have to improvise. We could also be magical. See what that does for us. I want to try our weapon skill. Whew. I do hit hard, though. I love it. I like it. Good spell. Eh. Come on, man. This is not a viable strategy if I keep doing it like this. Ha ha! There we go. Death Mask Helm. I want to read of this in a minute. Any others? Great. Okay. Helm of Wego, Elder Among the Fire Knights. Two warped death masks stacked one atop the other. Reduces FP used to summon spirits. Gnawed at by loneliness, the old man turned his attention to the spirituality of Mesmer's flame, using it in a rite of resurrection. Yet the soulless bodies he brought to life were no comfort to poor Wego. Which feels very pinwheelish. I'm feeling like a lot of Dark Souls 1... Uh, not even references necessarily, just stuff that kind of evokes... elements that uh, they've touched on and done before in previous Dark Souls's. Which is cool. Cool thing to do in the DLC to this massive game that is sort of like the, uh, inheritor of that legacy. And I love them doing it in this sort of way, as opposed to the sort of stuff in Dark Souls 3 that, like, just pulled familiar elements in almost unchanged and <laughs> just whole cloth. Doing something different and new that is, like, vaguely familiar of an old idea they've done before is I don't know, much preferable for me. Fire Knight Seal. Ooh, that seems like a fun toy. Sacred Seal of the Fire Knights, who answer directly to Mesmer the Impaler. Enhances the fire incantations of Mesmer. None of which I... I'm not sure I can even use any of them yet. They're very high faith requirement. The emblem of Mesmer's army depicts a golden ring and the fire of his sacred seal. Yeah, this could be one possibly worth leveling up if I end up deciding I like using that fire a lot. A lot of good stuff down here. Yeah. 
Anyone around? Battlefield Priest Cookbook. A record of crafting techniques left by the devout Battlefield Priests. These keepers of the faith fought bitterly to spread their gospel in the realm of shadow, where there was no Erd tree to gaze upon. Real uphill battle. Golden Grease and Drawstring Golden Grease. Have we... Is Golden Grease a thing we've found at any point? There's Lightning Grease. There's Holy Grease. Okay, we did get one. I think it's up... It's like upgraded... Holy Grease, I see. Solidified Night Grease made from a mixture of Holy Resonant materials. Enchanted with an ancient Erd Tree incantation. Such ministrations are all but a lost art in the Realm of Shadow. Especially since they lost the recipe in the Flood. Hmm. Maybe not. Does this open? It do. To an elevator which goes somewhere. Down's not what I was guessing. At all. Um. It's way far down, you guys. Okay. Sure. We're never going to be done with Shadow Keep. I'm realizing slowly. It's kind of more of a labyrinth that you just get lost in forever. Keep finding new wings and branches and, uh... Gracious. This... Where are we? This feels important in a scary way. Um... I mean, I'll take it. Iris of Grace. Ooh, is this, an e like, another option for what we could have, uh... Or is this the same thing? I think this is the same thing that we gave before. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I was about to say, did we pick up a third option down here? Uh... Hey! We found the backyard! One of them. Looks very intense down here. Ooh, hello. America's Rune. I'll take it. That's one of the biggest rune items in the game. It does make me feel like I'm walking into something real dangerous right now. Feels like I am. Look at this. The Shadow Tree base. Yeah, it looks like it. And it's kind of a mess down here. I don't even know what... What is this? Doesn't have the consistency of sap, but it does look like what's leaking out of the tree. Yipes. Uh. 
Whoa. That's a new variety. That's amazing. Ow. <laughs> what a cool bo a sunflower. Like a darkened sunflower boss. Like incredible. I feel like this sword's gonna be very good against it. Wonder how this skill does. Pretty good, I bet. Goodness. I'll have to learn how to actually use it before I try him. Um... Yipes. Super duper yipes. Yeah, I was trying to heal. That's so cool. The Shadow Tree has much cooler avatars. Okay, how does this skill work? Wow. That's cool. I don't know if it's... Hang on, let's read this description again, because that... It's also given me an effect, and I don't remember what... It says... Unleashes the light carved in the armament's blades, and the sword aloft to let loose a blinding light whose many rays sweep through the surrounding area also temporarily boosts one's own holy attacks. Yeah, now this is a... This is a great weapon to be using in this fight, I think. Yeah. Let's go figure out how to win this one. Had a feeling I was in for a daunting boss fight down here, but I didn't think I was going to run into it immediately. This is a bad idea. Yeah. I don't know when a good opening for that would be, but it definitely wasn't that. Okay. Here's an opening. Not the opening. I need to be a lot closer if I'm going to use it. The range was shorter than I thought. Whew. Them thorns. Fire would probably also do great against this. Yeah. Light not doing as much to it as I thought it might. Fire, though. Good boy. Oh boy. Yeah, that hurts. Whew. Let's try throwing some fire around. Wow, that hurts it so bad. <laughs> that hurts it in a bonkers way. Goodness gracious. Fire is the actual answer. Way. You dead? Um. Are you, though? You aren't. You aren't. Nope. Nope. Okay. Um. Maybe I need to, like, do a proper finisher on you. Or maybe you just have multiple phases. Or multiple versions of you. You're a lot more mobile now. Ow. Greedy. These thorns, though. Ah. Uh, okay. Woo! Baby, those thorns. Woo! Ouchies. 
Yeah, not sure the right way to dodge that attack. Yet. Boy, loving this fire attack against this thing. Hee! Goodness. Speedy. That sunflower can move. Right? Follow up. I almost forgot the follow up. And the follow up to the follow up. A eh. little early, but we're fine. Darn those thorns. Swing one, swing two, and then third. There it is. Fire! Yeah, if you can hit the face especially, goodness, that does so much fire damage all at once. Ah, almost went through. Hope there's only two of you. So I don't know if I can withstand a third. One, two, three, fire! Yeah! Maybe I should finish you this time. Did I do it? Music's not stopping. Okay. That's new. Whoa, that's cool. Whew. Big hit. I'm gonna get you. I hope. I don't know if I can reach. Come on, go for the hit. So close. So close to dead. There we go. Whoo! That's a cool boss. Wow. Remembrance of the Shadow Sunflower. And Mikola's Great Rune. What now? Excuse me. Why'd you have that? Hey! I demand answers. Wow, we had quite a find down here. <laughs> what a cool boss. So, um... Remembrance of the Shadow Tree Avatar hewn into the Shadow Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Reader, etc. The Shadow Tree is the shadow of the Erd Tree, born of dark notions that bear no sense of order, that twist and bend its stock, rendering it brittle. Very curious to see what this can give us. And Mikola's Great Rune. A great rune relinquished by Mikola. Broken and bereft of its bounty, it retains naught but the power to resist charms. Mikola set off for the tower, enshrouded by shadow, abandoning everything. His golden flesh, his blinding strength, even his fate. All in an effort to bury the original sin. To embrace the whole of it, and to be reborn as a new god. I see. Well, that's cool. Um... Anything else down here? Other than a level we should get. Wow, that was a cool boss. Can't ride around down here. This might just be an arena. Sure do look like it. Man.
I run back to the entrance just to make sure there's not like a character popping up down here or something. And I like very much that this uh, water or whatever it is is all like... Well, I was going to say it's looking really blackened now, and I think it is. Yeah, I think there was, uh, you could actually, like, see sort of gold in the traces of liquid previously. But there is still sort of like this shimmer of it a little bit when you catch the light just right. But, uh, yeah, no, this stuff is all, like, blackened now. Darn, I love this game. It's amazing. Okay. Let's go... I want to see what that remembrance can give us. There's some more good reading to be done. The Shadow Sunflower Blossom. A weapon. Ooh. Big flower weapon. Okay. The head of a monstrous shadow sunflower manifestation of the shadow tree. Then again, it might just be a flower, wielded as a weapon. <laughs> Much like the shadow tree itself in appearance, a second stalk winds tightly around the first, almost as if in a tender embrace. Shadow sunflower headbutt. Slam down the blossom of a large shadow sunflower, sending out a shockwave that flattens foes. Repeated inputs allow for up to two follow-up attacks. That's... so silly. Kind of love it. But also... Land of Shadow, an incantation originating from Shadow Tree avatars, creates a hail of golden projectiles which are fired toward foes after a brief delay. This incantation channels the force of the Shadow Tree's power and its gold is accompanied by shadow. That seems... high faith requirement, but not far off from what we can do. Uh, and this is a strength faith weapon. Oh boy, this is a very, very difficult decision. This may be a very good one to duplicate. Yeah, we may end up duplicating this one. But there's only one of them that we could equip, like, now. So we'll go with that to start. Nothing new in here still. Didn't think so. Okay. Huzzah! Oh, we still got a little bit of time. Let's, uh... Let's go back here to the back section, shall we? So we got the tree worshiping sanctum, we've got the tree worship passage. Actually, let's go back to this spot first, because there might be more at kind of the bottom of this whole church district that we've not done yet. Maybe. Not sure. Uh, right, this is where it goes down to, so okay, we're going back up. And now we wait. There we are. Okay. Big chapel. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I feel like we have not covered everything here yet. Like, for example...
Hey, here's how we get here. This is a very unsafe elevator. You guys. Maybe this whole place flooded by accident. Because of just bad architectural design. Safety is clearly not their top concern. I feel like there's going to be more down here. I, I've not... scoured this whole area yet. There's another elevator. Probably back up to areas we've been. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. What else, though? It's an entire district full of churches and chapels. But there's still more goodies. And crabs aplenty. Lightning! Very strong lightning! It is a good incantation. Y'all weren't kidding. Glad the spell, at least, went through. Okay. Do not mind me, smaller crabs. I have no quarrel with you. Continue enjoying your snack. Probably should at least peek back here. It's a pretty long little detour, but... Surely they'd still hide a little something back here. Right? Probably? Maybe? Maybe not. Wait. Well, there's stuff in here, at least. Not much, but something. Wait. Oh, come on, another one? Ow. Fire! Thank you, big shield. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Haha, -ha, roll just in time. This thing has so much more HP than the flower. Well, I guess cumulatively the flower's three forms did have quite a lot. Don't get breathed on. Eh. Fire! Yowch, she's... Quick! Oof. Stop it. I'm trying to heal so I don't die. There. Jerk. Hey, another of those. I guess just in case we hadn't found those items elsewhere. 
There are some backups here. So you could do the quest you just found. So what else are you all hiding down here? And the answer better not be another one of those. I do not accept that answer. That might be it. Might be it. At long last. Just a whole big chonky part of this already enormous dungeon. <laughs> uh, only accessible from outside in the east entrance. Wild. And it leads up into the storeroom. Another part of it that I couldn't figure out how to reach. Huge. This is where I came down here first. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Good, then I'm feeling pretty satisfied with exploration of down here. Good, all right. Well, let's head up to the back section. And on Thursday, we will explore this side of things, which could be small or huge. I know better than to guess at this point. I'll see you all on Thursday. Goodbye, everyone.